Hey everyone, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel and today I am bright up and early on this lovely Wednesday because I'll be checking out Wood's latest release of Abyss, his pre-release single before we get that full album later on at some point. I don't think we've got an exact date uh, you guys can confirm that uh, with me or uh, not but uh, yeah honestly as some guys may know I checked out his colorful trauma album his fourth mini album back in December of last year before I did my top 22 lists of b-sides and title tracks and yeah he surprised me and blew me away yet again as expected because honestly Woods, he has shown so much growth over time if you think about it. We would go back as even before 2018 where we had the fun days of pick up the phone, a uh, difference, and then we fast forward to 2020 where I first checked out his Equal album and I was like, oh. There's a lot of potential as him as a solo artist, you know, continuing forward. And he has shown a lot, especially messing with the likes of rock and other genres as well. So aside from that, I saw the music video teaser for Abyss. I have a feeling that it's going to give me a good amount of nostalgic vibes or in combination, of course, of his vulnerable side to this song, because it, I did remember seeing the text, a personal a very personal story by Woods, uh, sorry. But aside from that, let me dive into Abyss now. Let's just get into it now. All right, so brought it up here, Abyss by Woods. I got the English captions on and all, let's go. Oh, right away. This gentle strumming of the guitar. To ask you one thing. Don't try to know me in every way. Wow, that is so symbolic. Get these lyrics. I get what he's laying out here. The riffs here. It's faster for me to give up on myself. He truly takes the alternative rock route with this one. Man, I just get straight chills with this post chorus every single time. Climax here.
Now I'm trying to understand that last line there even more. But there's a lot that my man's woods conveyed within this music video and of course the lyrics within Abyss. Man, you got me all teary eyed. You got me all coming through with a bit of tears of joy, I've got to say. Woods, this is what I'm saying time and time after again. He is just so hands-on with his work. Coming through with the likes of Nathan and Ho-Ho as always, assumingly. And on this brand new upcoming era, I like how he sets the tone with this pre-release single. And it's difficult honestly from an artist especially a solo artist standpoint to showcase your vulnerable side and convey your feelings all in one song all in one song all in one album is one thing but all in one song is very difficult and quite comparably i want to mention is what i've heard and seen something like this before is the likes of Kang Daniel himself. He's showcased his vulnerable side in the past before and his his colors, his range of colors and who he is. And it's really, you got to give it to these artists that take the time and really open up for us like this. It's very difficult to do, especially with how brutal it is when it comes to the scene and all, and especially not knowing how they actually feel and not knowing how they are on a personal base day by day basis you know what i'm saying like we don't know woods personally right and the lyrics and the symbolic moments in this music video tied a, like showcase that very perfectly right and on a sonic standpoint, sonically standpoint, he truly takes that nostalgic 90s alternative rock feel and nails it and combines that and nails it with his personal experience and his message to honestly all of us. And I've got to say, for fans as well right like th th it's hard to really break down the lyrics because i don't have them up here but each and every single line i felt and i think referencing to us ourselves like hey it's fine if you like the way i look um like what i do and all that stuff but um honestly I'm I'm afraid, right? So I think I need to dive back into this again, of course, to break down not only what's going on in the song, but the lyrics and what's going on symbolically to really break down of how much of a masterpiece this release is because man oh man he considered all the details here and you got to give it to his new label now Edam with the likes of IU and Shinsei-kyung under the same uh, label right you got to give it to Edam Entertainment for backing up uh Woods with this one and I'm sure of course the upcoming uh, album that hopefully drops I can't wait for it for that day to come but in the meantime let's go through Abyss here
Man, there's, this is a lot to take in on an early, like, 7.30 to 8 a.m. morning. So this is what it is. These first lines here struck a really huge chord with me. It's all right if you want a lot. I'll let you have it all. And if we think about the whole K-pop idol scene, man oh man, oh, it's about coming through with the comebacks and releasing an album. And if you think about it on our standpoint, a lot of fans, I'm not saying all of us, but a lot of us are always wanting something from our favorites. We're always wanting something, and some of us may be overbearing and crazy to the point where they feel like they're entitled for more, you know what I'm saying? And that's a huge topic that I'm trying to wrap my head around and really want to cover at some point in a video of how K-pop is honestly partly on the downfall due to us ourselves, honestly. And he speaks it clear here, but in a considerate kind of way. I'll let you have it all. But then... There's more so... There's a however, there's a but part later on in the song here. That's the line that we shouldn't cross. Don't try to know me in every way. Like, there's this fine line that I want to have. I want to have my personal, personal life, and I want to have my, you know, on the stage kind of life. You know what I'm saying? I want those two things to be separate. And it's so hard to keep them separate in his position or anyone's position at the end of the day when you got people that are overbearing and all. But also, how one in his position, one may feel very pressured to showcase every single detail, do a vlog or anything, showcase their entire um, uh, life to the point where, man, they might be hurting themselves in that kind of way. So I, I feel Woods on this sentiment right here. If you like me, that's fine. And man, oh man. How he's just laying down here. It's seemingly, assumingly in this building. Concrete floor. Cold concrete floor. And also these locks being shown. I think this was very symbolic. These two scenes of this door. Think about this door and think about this room right this room that he's in and he, he has notice how the locks the locks are all open for everyone to come in right and it goes to show you he's truly showing his vulnerable side here so yeah i feel like that's symbolic as well as this just like man sometimes just being open like that right it, it it takes a lot of courage and it's it's so it's a internal struggle right and in the past before i don't know if you guys ever been through this but personally on my standpoint if you're opened up to other people uh so freely and then end up getting hurt yeah it whew. Now, I wonder what he picks up here. Give it to me here. Okay, I can't really see that fully, but... I feel like what's cool about 
like these scenes of Woods like meeting different people with different way different vastly different backgrounds. Those people he doesn't know on a personal standpoint clearly and they have their own stories as well. So I think that's really cool to show in this music video for a bit. <laughs> Man, that the strumming of that light strumming of the guitar, and then boom, we get hit with this distorted guitar riffs, like these rock guitar riffs that like flow, ebb and flow throughout my freaking bloodstream, honestly, and it gets me in the, the feels, it gets me in those nostalgic feels, and it makes me feel so crazy in a good way, like... Ooh, this 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 post chorus is unbelievable. I love this oh 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 that's going on too. He's like he's like a conductor here and and I'm feeling him every step away, even when he does like, you know, he does the gesticulations and, and she shows the actions of hit, hitting the drums and all in this. <laughs> I feel like he's trying to send like this message possibly in this package, right? Like, trading the globe and all, and... I don't know, I feel like that's symbolic in a way. I just can't really try to, I can't really pinpoint it right now, but like, he's truly sharing this message to the people he meets in this music video. Which is generally geared towards us all holistically. And I've got to say, like, notice how Woods, I told you, he messes with different genres, and he especially messes with the rock genre. But notice how we got, like, the likes of pop, punk in the past before. Notice how we get soft rock, something all out, out rock, um, dirt on my uh, leather, for example. But now we're getting, like, this alternative rock 90s nostalgic feel oh my goodness it's it's beautiful i'm still afraid leave me alone oh. i love how it's done for the guitar the guitar riffs In a way, his gesticulations and his actions and moves is like, it goes to show you, you don't need like set choreo to throw on a performance. Him himself doing these gestures and expressing himself throughout this music video and throughout the acting within this music video is absolutely incredible, honestly. I feel like in a way, like, he also proposes this thing, like, when the time comes for you to hate me, I want you to leave me, right? And he's being, uh, real, uh, here, right? Regardless, you know, whatever, parasocial, whatever is going on, okay, you gotta understand, right? I'm afraid that I don't know when's the day where I'm gonna lose your love, and that could be honestly through honest mistakes or something really bad to happen in the future because honestly we can't predict the future right and if you want to hate me you can leave right you can leave if if that ever happens right or if your love ever stops right 
it's it's fine to leave me, right? I li I li I really like the honesty here. But in the meantime, mm, I feel like these globes, now I th the more I think about it, like giving it towards Woods, it's like for now, be here with me. Ooh, a little bit of strings here I just noticed now. See that action of the lock there? I must love myself less. I feel like that's such a huge difference between loving oneself versus loving myself less now i'm trying to like sort of contextualize that and sort of feel that because i've never been to the point where i want to love myself less i've always been in more so the point of wanting to appreciate the things in life and love myself more right and there's no end point of oh okay once i love myself that's gonna be the end all be all right realistically I thought that once in my life, and oh boy, I, I was sure wrong considering how the pandemic happened and all of these crazy things in my life have happened uh, personally. Um, but thanks to the likes of Woods and K-pop, man, okay, I've, it's 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 been a treat, honestly. Now, to love myself less, man, I just, I, I feel like that's in a way to really, I don't know, to move on to new things potentially right to not hold on to things currently I, i'm just st still trying to put that through my mind but i feel like i get majority of the intentions here the honest the sincerity the vulnerable side that he portrays in abyss here and conveys like not only lyrically but like symbolically as uh, well every uh, one there's this fine line not to cross but you know I don't know when your love is gonna end and if I do something really bad please move on that it's it's completely uh, fine but also at the same time there has to be a happy medium as well right so uh, yeah abyss Whew. Uh, this song really hit uh, deep, honestly, and I appreciate for him ta to take out his time to truly come through with something vulnerable uh, like this. And man, that n 90s nostalgic alternative rock approach that he did in consideration of his story and his message put within this is absolutely incredible to mend those two things together on uh, I would say an overall sonically uh, like standpoint and visually as well. So this, this, this pre-release single, I gotta say, this is a 9.5 out of 10. The hooks uh, slightly do more than its job. I think uh, what's much different comparably to his previous releases is that this takes more of that softer approach on a rock influence you tell you feel me right the alternative rock nostalgic feel 90s throwback to it and all and i think as like the the mood the feeling sink in right away it's just that i would say on a memorable standpoint a couple more lessons and then boom it's already there for me but message wise i get it message wise visually i get it performance the performance that he gave to us by expressing himself and just jamming out and feeling out the mood for the song and all it's like ooh, so good okay the way he expresses himself in this okay oh wow 
that was a lot to take in everyone but hopefully you enjoyed this be sure to like share and maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so so much this has been Garrison as always if you haven't seen my woods reviews on the channel here I highly recommend you guys uh, do so especially for colorful uh, trauma okay I loved uh, I love the likes of hijack and better and better but uh, take care until the next woods uh, release I'm just so happy for him to be other uh, on Edam entertainment sorry i am it's too early still for me but take care and peace